We all know the feeling of being scared, whether it's from pranks oh, or from spiders. Yep. <laughs> or ghost stories. Fear is what keeps us safe. Some fear can be enjoyable though. Like say, on amusement rides. <laughs> oh boy. But what makes, whew, what makes the ride scary? Is it how fast they spin? Whew, how high they go? Or maybe it's how fast you move. <laughs> Shall we do an experiment to find out? <laughs> So what do you think makes a ride scary? I think that if it's got like barrel rolls. Yeah, the high and the fall. Yeah, falling for me. <laughs> Fear of being injured and coming off that ride. <laughs> That's what makes it scary. So tell me, what's the scariest ride you've ever been on? I think they're really scary when they go like around. And yeah, it's like, the more um, height, then it's like scary just looking down at um, the view. Because people touch you like this, and then they scare you. Yeah. The, the, the big distance. drop would be the thing that would be to get the adrenaline going more than anything else, I reckon. Yeah. You're a man of many words, I can tell. There you have it. Hey Damon, can you tell me what makes a good experiment? Why, of course I can. <laughs> For any good experiment, we have to use the scientific method. We ask a question, we make a prediction, we do the experiment, and then we look at the results. All right, so what ride do you think then is the scariest? Has to be the slingshot. There is this like giant catapult. It's like a reverse bungee jump. So instead of going down from somewhere going up, it is swinging you into the air on a circle, spinning, and spinning up and down. It just <laughs> it looked horrible. <laughs> but I really think well, that the, the slingshot would be terrifying. Slingshot. The slingshot, very scary ride. <laughs> Maybe the spinny stuff, I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have our question, we have our prediction, and now it's time to do the experiment. <laughs> Hello, Brandy. Well, for Hello, this experiment, David. we've got a range of things we need to measure. You see, okay. when people are on rides and they're scared, they have a range of physiological responses. Like what? Well, their heart, it starts to race. Their heartbeat, it gets faster. And we're gonna be measuring that in yeah, beats man. per minute. And not just that, they get really scared. They start to scream. <laughs> Well, and obviously. we can measure how loud their scream is in decibels. So Damon, what you're telling me is that we're basically looking at humans' flight or flight responses on rides. Absolutely right, Brandy. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Move it! <laughs> oh, all right, Damon, in all seriousness. Yes. All we need now are some guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? Guinea pigs. I can get you guinea pigs. Excellent. Anybody want to do an experiment where we measure fear? Anybody want to do an experiment with me? Anybody? Anybody? Does anyone want to be an experiment? We're just measuring your fear. Ah, oh, it's an experiment where we measure fear. No, no. Nah, I tried. Damon, what are you doing? I did it, Brandy. I found us guinea pigs. Not real life guinea pigs, Damon. People, we need people. Oh. I mean, he is cute, isn't he? Hi. Now, luckily, we have found our victims. <coughs> I mean, test subjects, Casey and Andrew. Before they strapped in, we measured their resting heart rate while they were chilling out. And we also measured their scream. Ah! Ah! Which is gonna be our control data that we can compare to later on. All that's left to do now is to get on the rides and do the experiments. 
Um, I don't know about this. <laughs> 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 Is it worth it? <laughs> Doable, looks survivable. Okay, now that our test subjects have been thrown, spun, and flung into oblivion, we're back at SciTech for the results. Okay, Damon, so how did we go? Well, using our control data, we measured the percentage increase in heart rate and screams. We tallied it up mm -hmm. and we generated a score for each ride from there. Okay, so the higher the score, the scarier the ride. Pretty much for our purposes. Okay, so which one was it then? Well, they definitely all had their scary moments, but one ride was a clear winner. And it is the Scorpion. The slings, I was not gonna say that. I was gonna say the slingshot. Okay, so let's take a closer look then, see what was happening. Let's start with the acceleration data. Well, that looks like spaghetti to me, but that one is clearly the slingshot. Now add the heart rate. Oh, wow. So we can see that the acceleration of the ride very much affects the heart rate. So the slingshot had the highest acceleration, clocking around 4 Gs. It then drops right back down again, along with our test subject's heart rate. Now, the scorpion only got to 3 G, but it remained around there for much, much longer, and the beats per minute went through the roof. Now, if we look at the scream data, this is where it gets really interesting. Have a listen. Did the sound cut out? No, but you'd think the scarier the ride, the more you would scream. I don't know what's going on. Well, wait a second. Look at the G-forces. So at this point in the ride, it's fluctuating between 2G and 3G forces for almost two minutes. So? So it's slowing down and speeding up over and over and over again. This adds to that feeling of excitement. You know that kind of rush you get on a swing okay. or a slide? At two G-forces, that's twice the amount of gravity on your body. You feel twice as heavy. At three G-forces, well, that's three times the amount of gravity, so even heavier. That's pretty much what astronauts feel during takeoff. Now imagine this. That can have a load of effects on our body. It can make you feel really, really sick, or it can even affect the way we breathe and scream. You sure they weren't just bored, Brandy? Oh, I can assure you, they weren't bored. The ride was going so fast, they couldn't actually scream. <laughs> no wonder our friends were feeling a little bit woozy. Scary 70, crazy 90. <laughs> so I wonder if the data matches how our test subjects felt. Probably like a, a 75. It felt mildly unstable on the first flip, but then it settled out. I got used to it. <laughs> yeah, probably about 80. Yeah, I did not expect it to tumble forward at all. I feel like it was maybe a... Five out of a hundred on the fear scale. Uh, seven? <laughs> Scary, 30, fun, 95. So, our results, they don't really match up to our prediction. We can see that acceleration has a direct effect on heart rate. So, the faster the ride, the scarier ride. But, it also depends on other things like anticipation and the surprise factor. Boo! So, of the rides we measured, the Scorpion was the scariest. But the Slingshot rated higher for fun factor. The Ghost Train was amusing, the swings were surprisingly relaxing, and, and the, the kangaroos. kangaroos! Well, we'll leave you with that footage. Thanks for watching! Bye!
Um, yeah, it was a great time. I've never ridden a kangaroo before. 